Hello, this is KVU News Channel 8, and today we'll be talking about 20 different biology concepts to summarize what we've learned this year. Some of the most important, first we'll be talking about um, cells, and some of the most important cells, organelles are mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell and is present in all eukaryotic cells, uh, the nucleus, the control center of the cell, um, where DNA is located, and ribosomes which provide and make protein for the cell. The next topic is taxonomy. Taxonomy is the naming of organisms. Bio biologists use binomial nom nomenclature so that all scientists know what species they're all talking about. It classifies the organisms by genus and species. The following concept is negative feedback. Negative feedback happens when the body does something to maintain homeostasis. For example, our bodies shiver when we're cold um, to generate heat. The next topic we've planned for today is mitosis. Mitosis is the process of creating two genetically identical diploid cells. Controlled mitosis prevents some cancers. Along with mitosis, we're also going to be talking about meiosis. Meiosis is the process of creating, creating four genetically different haploid cells Meiosis is very important because it creates diversity within the cells by crossing over of chromosomes. And now let's switch over to Eric for some more insight into biology. Thank you, Gozi. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is the cell cycle. The cell cycle is the life cycle of a cell that ends up in cell division. The phases of this cycle include the G1 phase, the S phase, and the G2 phase. Another topic in mind for today is prokaryotic cells versus eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms like bacteria, and eukaryotes are multicellular organisms such as plants or animals. Also, prokaryotes have no nucleus, whereas the eukaryotes have a nucleus along with other membrane-bound organisms. The next topic is, six, is the six different kingdoms. The six different kingdoms include plantae, animalia, Fungi, protista, eubacteria, and last but not least, archaeobacteria. Following that, I'll be talking about dichotomous keys. They can help find what organism you are looking at by narrowing them down to certain characteristics with a few options at a time. By the end of this process, you will find yourself with the organism you, you were looking for. Lastly, before we switch over to Evan, I'll talk about mutations. Mutations and, gen and genetic mutation result from changes in organism's DNA that may affect entire genes. Mutations can range anywhere from different eye colors to extra fingers. Well, that's all I have to say. Here's Evan. Hello, my name is Evan. I'll be helping you with some biology topics. The first thing is pine squares. They show the possible outcomes of the genes from the mom and the dad and what their offspring could be. This is an example of a pine square. These are the two parents' genes. That these are the outcomes that you get. The next topic would be Bebekpo. This is, shows the order and size of living things. It goes biosphere, biome, ecosystem, community, population, and organism. The next topic is endosymbiotic theory. This is the theory that prokaryotic cells evolved into eukaryotic cells. And what happened was prokaryotic cells were engulfing other ones and gave them organelles and turned into eukaryotic. ATP is the energy used, is a form of energy used. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and is referred, is referred to as the energy currency of life. Macromolecules, nucleic acid, lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins are the four types of macromolecules essential for all life. These macromolecules are made of monomers and now we get to grab Thank you, Evan. And now the first topic I'm going to be talking to you about is DNA versus RNA. DNA is, is the blueprint of a cell and it makes up cells. And RNA makes up amino acids which are used for proteins. The next topic I have for you all today is a man named Darwin. Darwin observed finch population, wrote the origin of species, and said the natural environment of an organism selects the traits with a reproductive advantage. Alrighty, the next subject is bacteria. Bacteria is the smallest living thing known to humans. It is prokaryotic, unicellular, shapes as spheres, rods, or spirals. 
The next topic is viruses. Even though viruses are smaller than that bacteria, they are classified as non-living. They affect the DNA of organisms by attaching themselves to them and using it for resources. And finally, to wrap things up, my last bit of information is about isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic cells. Isotonic is when the water to molecule ratio is equivalent. Hypertonic is when there is more molecules to water in the ratio. And finally, hypotonic is where there is more water to the molecules in the ratio. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. Uh...